Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you how you can set up an animation track so that it will do something before your first keyframe and after the last keyframe you set. So if we have a look at this black line here you can see that the value that you set with the last keyframe is just going to be constant from then on. But if we select the track you can see that we get to the track settings and here we have two parameters called before and after and here we can set up what should happen before our first keyframe or after our last. So let's just set this to continue and now you can see that this black line is now going up. So based on the tangent of the last keyframe you can adjust this straight line here and if I scrub the timeline you can see that the car will just continue driving after it accelerated here and then it will move on with constant speed from there. All right, what else do we have? Let me select the track again and let's set after to repeat. Now you can see that it will just repeat the animation that has been created before. It doesn't make much sense in this case, but there are cases where it makes a lot of sense. You can also set this up to offset repeat and this will repeat but always continue at the value of the last keyframe. So we have something like that. And then we have another one called oscillate. And if I hit play here, you can see that it looks a little bit like the car was bouncing off a wall. Now, if I enable my wall, you can see that it's like a bouncing ball here. However, I wanna show you the last one as well, because this one is very special. It's called loop and what it will do is it will connect the last keyframe with the first one and it will also take into account the tangents here so that it's a smooth animation. And another thing you can do here is you can set the loop end. So if I set this to let's say 90, you can see that it will take the whole loop 90 frames to be finished and then it will restart at frame 91. So if I want the first frame of the loop to be on frame 90 here, we need to set it to 89 instead. And then there is another thing that is quite cool, which is the repetitions parameter here, which is set to zero and zero means that it will loop until infinity. If I set this to one, you can see that we have one more loop. If I set this to two, two and so on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.